Hello everyone, hope you guys are doing well. Uh, this is Aman and you are watching Travel with Aman. Today we are talking about Albania. Uh, Albania and its culture and how is the country, where is it located and very important details. If you are going to visit and if you have a plan to visit any European country, do watch this. So, um, well, as you're watching Tower with Aman, you know, like today we're talking about Albania. Albania is a country located in southeast part of Europe, and its its population is almost like 2.8 million. The history of Albania is is like it's very historical country. You know, the history is actually dated back to 12th century, actually, 12th century uh, uh, AD, of course. So it's a very historical country. Even the language that, that are being that is being spoken in in Albania, what we know is called Albanian language, but actually the local people they call it the, the actual language is called Ship, and the people of Albania they are called Ship Tar. And you know, like if you look at the the, the flag of Albania, it's like two-headed eagle. Uh, so, it, what what is it called in Albanian language? It's called uh, Shiponia, if I'm not wrong. Yes, Shiponia. So, if you want to plan Albania, if you want to plan to go to Albania, actually, Chipria, it's called Albania. So, if you want to plan to Albania, so you have to watch this video. Uh, religion. Well, the religion that is being followed in Albania, the mostly is in is Islamic religion, uh, almost more than 70% of people, they follow Islam, and the rest follow Christianity, most of them. Uh, and they are like, of course, um, Orthodox Christians as well as Catholic as well. One important thing, is Albania safe to visit? It is very safe to visit, very safe. Uh, even if you want to just go around at night, it's very safe to visit. But try to not be over brave or something. Uh, if you can just try not to go outside, especially at night, in the middle of the night, it's better, especially if you are in the you know in the areas where it is, like Tirana. It's the capital city of Albania. So if you're visiting there at night, uh, it's very it's very safe actually. But still, if it's better to always uh, have like be cautious, you know, whenever you go outside. <clears throat> Second thing, people always ask: Is Albania expensive? Let me tell you one thing: It is not. Yes, it is not expensive actually. Albania is a very, very economical, economical country and everything there is not very expensive at all. So if you're planning and if you think like a country in Europe would be very expensive, then believe me, Albania is not expensive that much. Actually, it's not at all. <laughs> all right. Albania is on the southeast part of Europe, as I said before. So if, if you are seeing, like talking about geographical location of Albania, so Albania has borders with Montenegro, Kosovo on the north side, uh, also with Italy on the west side, I think, and uh, Greece also on the also on the you know south side. Greece is there, and it also has a border with I said Italy, right? Italy, Greece, Montenegro, Kosovo, and one more country is there. Um, 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 what is the country name? I forgot. Anyway, what are the most visited places in Albania? South and then north. Well, so it, it depends where you're coming from. If you're coming from European side mostly or countries where it's very cold, so people prefer to go towards southern part. And if you look at the historical uh, uh, facts and figures of Albania, like not historical, touristical uh, facts and figures of Albania, you find out like the most visited places, the top most visited place is Birat and all other uh, places like we have here, Rivera, Apollonia, Duras, Girocastra, uh, Kruja, Tirana, and Shkodra. These are all the, the, the places that are mostly visited in Albania. But here, like you see, like the places that I have listed down are mostly of south part. Uh, it depends what you prefer. So southern part is actually the coastal side of Albania. 
and if you are moving towards the north side it's actually the mountainous part and colder of course so uh, so it's pretty cold if you, want, if you want to move towards south it's like coastal side again move towards north it's the mountain all mountain side so it's a mixture of all so Albania has got both things sea uh, uh, beauty uh, I mean natural beauty of course uh, <laughs> you know so if you're if you're planning there just do visit there and the places are amazing so if you're into into uh, sea and go side visit south and if you also want to like, try the the mountain and stuff go towards uh, north side well what I like the most north side not because it's north north is the best or like the mountains are amazing and south is not that very good no because I got the very good guy tour guide there I'll tell the secret later on just keep watching this anyway okay so the best thing about it if you are if you are now especially I'm talking to UAE residents if you are traveling from UAE then this is good news there is no more visa required for UAE residents so even wherever you're from uh, as long as you have UAE residency you do not require a visa to enter Albania and one more thing very exciting PCR during this COVID time there is no PCR required to enter Albania how exciting is that right I know right so when when I was planning my trip to Albania I realized that Albania is the easiest country that I felt, I felt because no PCI required, no visa required. I just went and go there directly. Perfect. So it's very easy and very easy to plan. It's a very economical country. If you're planning to go to Europe side, it's not part of European Union definitely, but it is part of Europe. And amazing country to visit. So the very important thing which I wanted to tell you is if you're planning to go to Albania, please have some spare days with you. Do not just rush to Tirana and then and then just places near nearby. If you really want to see and and uh, enjoy the beauty of Albania, you have to try and visit all those places which are which are very famous or which are actually uh, kind of remote. So you have to have some time for those places to visit. Uh, I'll just name some, especially on the north side, because north side people like from uh, other side, like other countries, they do not really go much to the north side. They go actually, but not if you look at the at the touristical uh, statistics, they do not go that much. So uh, if you are if you are in Tirana, so only two hours almost maximum uh, is Shkodra from there, and from Shkodra it's like you have Le Poche, very nice place, which is a very nice place. I'll make a separate video on that. Then you have also Theth, a bit farther, but very amazing place to visit if you are into the beauty, you know, like your remote, remote mountainous and cold places to visit. Kruja is also one of the places there. Um, Valbona, lovely place. Wow, it's amazing. They have a lot of waterfalls and all those, uh, you know, the blue eye thing is there. Uh, and if you are into hiking, perfect place. You can hike from uh, Valbona to Theth or other, other way around. So all those places are there. And one important thing, you know, the, the very, very, very important thing. The water there, you can have tap water, like in, in, in Albania. You know, like when I was there like for almost like, um, seven eight days I never bought a water but the mineral water I always had tap water the water was so clean so don't worry about the cleanness and and one more thing if you are planning to go there please try the local Albanian food it's very tasty it's delicious believe me you will not forget it so wherever I go I always plan to eat local food I prefer to eat local food actually I look for local and traditional stuff so I can eat and enjoy more. So I can I can enjoy that I and I can feel you know that I am in that country and I'm enjoying it a lot. So uh, this is I think a very short video that I wanted to just I'll share uh, some details about Albania. And if you are planning to go to Albania, do remember that you have to have a good tour guide. Do not just try to go and explore yourself. You can do that definitely. But it's always preferred to have a tour guide with you who is professional, who has a very nice 
uh, <laughs> I don't want to say that. Okay, let me let me say it. Otherwise, in other words, actually. So who who has a good temper to to a answer your questions? Who has good knowledge? Who is very kind of uh, uh, funny kind of so you can say so you can have a nice and, and enjoyable company. So instead of person who's telling you, you know, do not go there, it's not safe, there's nothing about it, and the history is... Albania has a lot of castles and all those historical places as well. So if you are into, for example, if you're going to south even, a lot of castles are there. There's also a castle in Shkodra itself. So if if you just go there by, by yourself, you would probably see all the castles, but you'll not know the history. Uh, so if you if you plan to go to, to, to those places especially, and if you also want to like, try going to the, the northern uh, areas, which are the remote areas. So you do not know the beauties of those places. You better have uh, like a good tour guide who will show you around with a good uh, mood. So you'll enjoy it a lot more. So we had with uh, us Mondi and the tour guide, uh, but I love Mondi. Uh, uh, it was pretty, pretty nice. So if you are planning to go there, please do visit Albania. And it's a very nice and amazing place to visit. Stay tuned for more videos. Keep watching. Ciao with Aman. Have a good day. Take care. Keep safe. Okay.